This video is only one part of an in-depth review, so check out the rest at thegoodride.com. Thanks for watching. This is the GNU Essential Services. Rode this with Union Atlas and Burton SLXs. Got us some really good conditions today. Nice, soft, well-groomed snow in the morning. Kind of moving into uneven, little messy, but good groomers. Only a few hard patches here and there. And even some good soft snow off piste from a little bit of snow the day before. To give you a short summary, Nicholas Mueller was let go from GNU, so they changed the Mueller to the Essential Services. It's basically the same board with what seems like a little bit softer flex. Same shape, same taper, same side cut, same stance locations, same everything, same camber profile, just a little softer flex. So it still makes this a very good board to carve, drive through turns, get air, it's just a great directional daily driver for those who might see a little bit harder snow or like steep terrain, but you got to be a pretty good rider to use this. It is not ideal for beginner to intermediates. As far as sizing goes, the 159 felt just right for me. It couldn't have done better. It matched my boot size really well. It matched my weight. It matched up just really well all around. And I could probably go 161 if I favored more of a bombing personality, but I felt like I could control this 159 really well, and this is the right choice for me. The shape is tapered directional. There isn't a lot of taper, but a little bit there, and you do feel it on the run. It's funny, compared to the Burton Flight Attendant, you actually feel a little less taper with that, even though they were designed basically for the same rider. You feel a little more taper, a little more surfy, you need a little more back foot weight on the tail, on groomers, and then a little less in powder, but we'll get to that later. And the camber profile is almost full camber. There's just a touch of early rise in the tip and the tail. So when you're on snow, it feels very locked in and you feel like you're riding a full camber board. It really feels aggressive and technical, semi-catchy to catchy. So not an easy board to skid turns or play around with. Now, when it comes to flex, it's nice and like, I would say medium in the nose here. And it was easy to do some nose presses and such. Then between the feet right here, it's pretty stiff, I would say medium stiff. And then kind of back to medium, bordering on medium stiff in the tail. I found that I could butter off the tail pretty well for how stiff it was, but it definitely took some work, especially compared to the Yes Pick Your Line and the LibTech BRD. The hometown hero from Burton was about the same. It took a little bit of work, but it's very doable and it's a little more doable than the Mueller before. That was a little stiffer and a lot more work. But this thing has easily accessible pop. I think that softer flex makes it easier for average riders like myself to really get this to spring a little easier than the old Mueller. It's still nothing like the hometown hero, but kind of on par, maybe a little bit better than the Yes Pick Your Line and a little bit better than the, the BRD, but really good there. Really fun, easy board to generate your own air with. And it tracks well into a little natural feature here and there for the kicker, and I really enjoyed that on the old Mueller and the new essential services. Now, when it comes to speed, the base glide's good, just like it was with the Mueller before. It's not great, it's not amazing, but it's pretty good. It held up well against all these other boards you see beside me here. I would say maybe um, the Pick Your Line and Burton Hometown Hero were a little faster, but eh, you know, it's really close and just need to keep it well waxed and it'll do its thing. And if it's not well waxed, it still does a pretty good job keeping its glide. Now, I thought the softer, the slightly softer flex would cause problems picking up speed and cause a little more chatter. Now, I'm no bomber. I'm not some guy who just likes to point it, but I didn't feel that much difference between this and the old Mueller. So that was kind of cool. It 
it can point it. It's pretty good. In uneven terrain, I actually like this a little better than the old Muller because that softer flex just seemed to kind of absorb that micro bumpy uneven snow and keep it from coming up into my joints and bothering me. So I really like that. And when it comes to edge hold, this disruption in the side cut, it's kind of not their mellowest. It's not as mellow as the BRD but it's not as aggressive as like full on mag, let's say from the Libtech E-Jackknife. That has a much more aggressive magnet traction. So if you're riding in hard to icy snow and you like kind of like a mostly camber or almost full camber ride, that might be the better call. But if you're like me who wants to, something that doesn't grab that hard in softer snow, but you wanna be ready for those hard ice patches and those hard days where you have to ride for a little bit in hard snow before it gets good, this is a great call. Now when it comes to turning and carving, this, and the hometown hero were, were the heroes for today. These were great boards to carve with. Just all that camber, these both have a really aggressive camber profile. The Pick Your Line and the BRD weren't that far behind, but these were the, this is where they shine here. It was really fun to initiate a turn. It turned quickly and it really springed out of a turn and carved really well. It was, it was fun. This is medium fast, almost fast, and it got anywhere I wanted to when I wanted it to. And then when you wanted to really commit, yeah, it, you need to put a little more back foot weight, but it just springs out so well. And if you ride a little more posy, it's gonna reduce the back foot weight you need to put into that, but you don't want to go too crazy with this. This is still a snowboard that can be turned and ridden anyway. It doesn't need to be a particular stance, angle, or width to make it work. Now, conversely, powder. Um, the Hometown Hero does a pretty good job, but I would take the BRD and the Yes Pick Your Line over these two any day. This does well, but there's not much rocker going on here. You got a longer nose, but this is better for those who like that steep angle powder where they don't need as much float. If you're riding a mountain like I do a lot, Mount Bachelor, this is an ideal because it takes a lot more work to stay afloat. Now I haven't ridden this in powder, but I rode the same exact shape and camber profile on the Mulair in powder and it took some work. It definitely some, some rear leg burn compared to some of its peers. Switch is pretty doable, and this is a fun board to ride the half pipe with. And it really, like I said before, it really tracks well into a kicker. So as long as you're kind of going more directional in the pipe and directional on your jumps, this could work. Definitely not a great jibber. And overall, I think, I was kind of surprised. I thought the softer flex would make me not like it. This is a, a technical, aggressive board with just a slightly softer flex that makes it more accessible for average riders like myself. So I almost like this even more than the Mulair. All our reviews are a best effort, objective opinion from an average rider's perspective. There's no brand oversight and we're free to say whatever we want. We send back everything unless it's a favorite, then we ask to keep those or straight up buy them. Now, if you need advice, fill out the Me Harmony profile in the Contact Us section of the site. It's the only way I can help you properly. If you want to support us, and if what we reviewed appeals to you, it helps if you buy through our links. So, thanks for watching.